Welcome to another episode of Cyber Secrets. The internet can be a dark place. The deeper you go, the darker it can get. In the far corners of the digital expanse, you may even stumble across networks so far removed from the internet that they themselves are called by a different name. A dark net. Realistically though, a dark net is nothing more than a network that requires a special path to get to. Like the realm in Alice in Wonderland, Alice was in her own dark net of sorts after traveling through the rabbit hole. It could not be seen by those in the world she left behind. In geek terms, it is a private network where the connections are made by a select number of systems. Think of a dark net as a peer-to-peer -peer network. For example, Freenet, GNUnet, private VPNs, I2P, and Tor are examples of this type of network. Some are easier to get to than others. One of the most popular dark nets, as of this broadcast at least, is the Tor Onion Network. This is the network we're going to discuss in this video. I want to bring up a relatively new darknet site called Grams. It is a darknet market search engine. At this point, it searches 10 unique black market websites. At this time, those sites are 1776, Agora, The Andromeda Market, Black Bank, Bungie 54, Cloud9, Pandora, Pigeon, The Silk Road, and The Pirate Market. When we search for the keyword drugs, you can see contraband from all 10 sites has been added to the results queue. An interesting feature that Grams added was the ability to filter out exactly what black markets you want to work with, as you can see when we search for the keyword passport. Now I'm going to do a quick search for Social Security Number, or SSN. And as you can see at the top of the list, there's counterfeit identities. After all this effort to compete with the Silk Road and the Black Market Reloaded, Atlantis shut down shortly after the alleged founder of the original Silk Road was arrested and the site seized by the FBI. Many of the darknet markets and sites died during this time period. However, like the darknet market Hydra's name suggests, if you take off one head, many others will take their place. Many people feared the Tor network was doomed and waited to hear for the final news. Many reported the death of Tor, but in reality, it is hanging on strong and even starting to live again. So, where do you find new sites? Uh... If you haven't heard of this next site by now, you should get off the internet right now. The Pirate Bay, or the PirateBay.se, is the galaxy's most resilient BitTorrent site. The founders found themselves in a bit of hot water since most of the people that use the Pirate Bay are sharing content they do not own, and this is considered intellectual property theft. However, the Pirate Bay has a new Onion site address now. The reason why they did this was to get past country censorship. The Pirate Bay is the most well-known search engine for BitTorrents on the internet. Remember though, Using BitTorrent is not illegal, 
but downloading pirated software in movies or music is. To show you how easy it is to find illegally copied work, we're going to take a quick look at the top movies, music, and software that's listed on the Pirate Bay at the time of this recording. On the other hand, there's a lot of legally shared content on this site. Some musicians and artists have even dubbed it the Promo Bay because it helps them market their group. Many feel that this is the future of media. I even have added a few of my own pieces to this site to share. The truth is, there's a lot of bad content on the internet. It naturally gets worse though when there's no accountability due to anonymity. There are little to no rules when there's little to no risk of getting caught. This Lord of the Flies mentality sometimes does take over. This happens in sites like 4chan and is happening in the darknets. Tor isn't in a sense a fledgling internet following in the footsteps of its bigger brother. If you turn the wrong corner and open the wrong door, you may come across some extreme evil. As you have seen, there are drugs, fake IDs, and other contraband in these marketplaces. There is also much worse floating out there outside those market sites, such as assassination services and child pornography. Law enforcement is in a constant battle to catch these types of criminals and have even been successful by using computer exploits or malware to identify these suspects. The dark net is not all evil though. There are many useful sites in this space and almost all of them are supporting freedom of speech and allowing voices of citizens to be heard even out of the most oppressive of regimes. Tor is an extremely useful tool to exercise your freedom of speech from government censorship. Here is a list of search engines in the darknet for you. Some search from the Tor network out to the surface web and some search the Tor network itself. DuckDuckGo is a surface web engine that touts that they do not track you like Google does. You just received a small glimpse of what can be found in the darknet black markets. You can even find botnets to rent and bulk credit cards to purchase. But keep in mind, not everything in this space is illegal or shady. With that said, it does seem easier to find in the fringes of the digital deep space. The Cyber Secrets web series covers computer forensics, hacking, and everything in between. Thank you for your continued support of Cyber Secrets. With the reboot of the different series, we want to ask if you have ideas for future content or suggestions for improvement. Please let us know. Click subscribe for new episodes of Cyber Secrets.